Let's talk about how stitches are mounted on the needle. Any stitch needle pearl has two walls, back wall, front wall. Only one wall is always closer to the tip of the left needle. This is knit stitch and the way how I knit, the back wall is the closer to the tip of the left needle. So I knit through back. The way how I purl, the front wall is closer to the tip of the needle. I always purl through front. And again, the way how I knit it here, the back wall is closer to the tip of the left needle. So I knit through back. In this purl stitch, the front wall is close to the tip of the needle. I purl through front. Let's say something happened while I was knitting and I have to take stitches off the needle. They are all right now in whatever position and I have to place them back as fast as I can without even thinking if it is front wall or if it is back wall. I just have to bring them back as fast as I can. So I brought all my stitches back on the needle and now I have to work in in my pattern, which is knit one pearl, one rib, I slip, I slip first stitch, and now I'm checking. In this knit stitch, the closest wall to the tip of the left needle is the back one, so I knit through back. In this pearl stitch, the closest wall to the needle is the back one, so I purl through back. In this knit stitch, the closest needle to the tip of the needle is the front one. So I knit through front. In this pearl stitch, the closest wall to the left tip of the needle is the back one. So I purl through back. In this knit stitch, the closest wall to the tip of the left needle is the front one. So I knit through front. In this pearl stitch, the closest wall to the tip of the needle is the back one. So I purl through back. In this knit stitch, the closest wall to the tip of the needle is the front one, so I knit through front. In this pearl stitch, the closest, closest wall to the tip of the left needle is the back one, I purl through back. In this knit stitch, the closest wall is the front one, I knit through front. In this pearl stitch, the closest wall is the back one, I purl through back. In this knit stitch, the closest wall to the needle is the front one. I knit through front. In this purl stitch, the closest wall to the tip of the needle is the front one. I purl through front. In this knit stitch, the closest wall to the needle is the back one. I knit through back. This purl stitch, the closest wall to the tip of the needle is the back one. I purl through back. And I finish my last stitch. I knit it through. I turn my work. For only one row you have to follow the amount of the stitches. Now you're going to work in your routine always knitting through the back wall and always purling through the front wall. Always knitting through the back wall and always purling through the front wall. If you will learn this amount of the stitch and you understand that no matter whether you need to purl, you always enter in the needle through the closest wall to the tip of the left needle, you never will be crossing your stitches unless you really want to. So let's see if we would like actually to cross our stitches. Then what we have to do is we have to change our mind. This needs stitch. The closest wall to the needle is the back one. So for us to cross the stitch, we have to knit it through the front wall. In this pearl stitch, the closest wall to the needle is the front one. So for us to cross this pearl stitch, we have to purl it. We have to purl it through the back wall, like this. And we purl it through. In this knit stitch, the closest wall is the back one. For us to cross it, we have to knit it through the front. Again, in this pearl stitch, the closest wall is the front one. For us to make it crossed pearl, we have to purl it through the back. And so on. We're always reversing right now. Instead of knitting through the back, we're knitting through the front.
instead of purling through the front, we are purling through the back.